Greetings once again, everyone. Uh, rooting through my fridge, I found an interesting looking brew here that uh, this is one that I have not tried yet. This is from Boulder Beer Company, Boulder, Colorado, USA. This is called Hazed and Infused. This is an American pale ale. Um, see if there's anything uh, interesting I can glean from the bottle here. Uh, dry hopped ale. It's hazed in its natural state and infused with crystal and centennial hops. Okay. Sounds interesting. Um, American pale ales are pretty, uh, pretty basic beers. Um, I guess derived from, you know, like a British pale ale. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, a, a pretty good balance between hops and malts here. Probably a light flavor, maybe a little, uh, a little citrusy or maybe a little fruit uh, fruit to it. Got my um, my uh, Miller's Pub pint glass here. It's from uh, Miller's Pub in uh, the Loop in Chicago. Very good place. Uh, I tend to uh, visit that whenever I'm out there. Uh, on the back uh, is a Goose Island logo. Very good brewery out there in Chicago. But uh, Despite the Chicago pint glass, we are we are drinking a Colorado beer here. Um, again, this is an American pale ale. Let's uh, go ahead and pour it. See how it looks. Nice and golden, almost orange in color. Nice golden brown. Healthy head on it. Looks very good. Nice and clear. Hmm. It's a very, uh, very hoppy smell to it. Although not too strong, like you would expect from an IPA or uh, something like that. This, this is not an IPA. Um, it's a, sort of a lesser version, just a you know, regular pale ale. Um, let's go ahead and uh, sample this here. pretty good. Um, there's definitely, uh, you, you definitely get hit with some hops up front, but um, it's not very, uh, it's not extremely hoppy, not very strong. It's pretty well balanced, actually. The hops sort of hit you right away, but um, like the bitterness doesn't stay with you. It, it sort of, uh, it mellows out. The, the malts really mellow it out pretty nicely. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, percentage on this. I, I don't imagine it uh, to be too much. It's probably around five percent. Let me uh, let me see here. Yeah, four point eight five percent alcohol by volume. So you know it's it's not very strong or not very uh, you know alcoholic. Um, it got a little bit hazy when I poured the bottom of the bottle in there. So there's uh, probably a little bit of uh, yeast going on. Yeah, I can see some sediment, just a little bit of sediment in the bottle. Um, this has been sitting in my fridge for a few months, but um, that's not a problem, though. Uh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit hazier since I pulled, poured the whole bottle out, but yeah, very good. Um, I guess I would uh, rank it about a, a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, just you know, um, off the top of my head here, um, maybe a little bit less than that. It's not, um, you know, it's nothing spectacular, but it's definitely very good. It's got a very good balance to it. Um, let me see if I can find any, uh, little extra pointers here. Um, some people are saying there's a, uh, a nutty or a fruity taste to it. I'm not really getting that uh, too much out of this. Um, there's a little bit of a floral quality, I guess, but nothing that I would really call fruity. Um, I don't know. It's pretty basic, but it's uh, for a basic beer, for an American pale ale, it's pretty good. Um, I guess that's about all I can say about this one. Uh, would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's it's pretty easily drinkable. It's uh, pretty basic. You could 
probably have a few of these with dinner. Um, so once again, excuse the sound, that's the, uh, the chinchillas uh, running around in my cage there. But um, yeah, again, this is uh, hazed and infused from Boulder Beer Company, Boulder, Colorado. I believe I've had a f maybe one or two of their uh, other brews before, but this was a first for me. And it was pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.